Hello and welcome to Stop Motion Magazine's Puppets Tutorial for the Silicone S1 Puppets. In this tutorial I'll teach you how to make the heads for the S1 Puppet and uh, basically uh, we're just going to move forward from here. If you haven't seen the other tutorials, there's a, a body tutorial and a foot tutorial and uh, yeah. So first off, let's start off with the silicone, or I'm sorry, the Sculpey head. And there's a Sculpey head with a mouth section cut out. Uh, there's eye sockets. Um, and then there's a hair section where you can sculpt more hair on. There's actually a hole for the neck to go through. Um, one of the things here is uh, you do not have to do it this way. You can do it your own way. But uh, just apply the, the technique for molding, casting. Uh, there's eye sockets, which you can just leave the beads in there if you want. And then you don't even have to have beads in that section. It would be a little easier, honestly. Um, you'll be able to just put a little bit of clay on there and move the eyeball around. In the back, you see there's a little slot. This is to allow, if you wanted to do replacement silicone heads, I mean silicone hair, and uh, you can also allows you to put clay on there and sculpt on it and won't move around. First thing you're going to do is you're going to put down a, uh, a cellophane. Uh, you're going to put Legos around your head on the cellophane and then put uh, clay down. We're using wet clay, W-E-D clay. And we're using up to uh, the halfway mark on the, on the head. Then you're going to put uh, a, a piece of uh, straw or tubing at the top and then you're going to poke holes all around, uh, very shallow, by the way. You'll build up this wall um, around the puppet using Legos. And uh, the reason why the hole's there at the top is so that you can pour, pour stuff through. Uh, we're going to use Umu th uh, 30. It's a uh, liquid silicone. It doesn't require any degassing, and it's, it's pretty great, um, and it cures really fast. It's A and B, and I think the cure time's around three hours, maybe a little bit more. Um, but you can do two pours in one day, which is brilliant. So you don't have to sit around and wait for uh, this thing to cure. You're going to mix A and B together. Use a scale. Very important. And um, there's really not much prep here. I mean, you're just going to stir this together. It's going to make a purple goo kind of thing. And it's going to have a lot of bubbles in it, which is bad for silicone. But this type of silicone will actually degas itself. So you don't have to use a, ch a vacuum chamber or anything. And we'll go over here. Uh, you pour it into the mold. Um, and then let it sit. Do not touch it. Just let it sit there. And the bubbles will evacuate themselves and uh, cure. Once it's cured, after the allotted cure time, you check the manual for, uh, for your cure time with, it, with your package, you're going to flip this sucker over and you're going to remove all the, the uh, wed clay. Now, wed clay is called W-E-D clay because it's uh, um, made for Walter E. Disney back in the old days. Um, you can find it online if you need to order it. Um, you remove that, clean it, use some water and clean it. Do not remove the head from the, the, the mold yet, okay? Took the Legos off, washed them, put them back on, built the wall back up. You see the tube is still at the top of the head. That is where you're going to have your pore spout, so make sure that stays there as well. That's part of your casting. Now, uh, something to also consider at this stage, which is extremely important, is you're going to need to add a barrier between the two layers of silicone. That, um, your first layer of silicone is already cured, so when you pour the second layer in, um, you don't want it to uh, stick to the first layer, because it will. Uh, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to buy um, a, either a silicone release agent or you can do it the, the way the professionals do it and go get some palm olive green dish soap. And you basically just take a finger or a paintbrush and just put it in there and that will act as your barrier between the two layers. All right. Now we're going to mix up the, the ingredients again. A and B of uh, Umu 30. There's also like an Umu 25, which is really, really fast. Um, it's, a, it's a great one to use as well. We're going to let it cure, and then we're going to have uh, the two sections, right? Um, you'll see here there's all this flashing here. You can cut that flashing off if you like. There's also a little spout hole right there that you'll see. In this one, you see we've separated the two halves. You're going to wash it with water or rubbing alcohol and remove that head and that spout that's at the top. And then you'll, you'll see that we'll have uh, the two halves for the face and the back of the head. Now this thing here, uh, you probably want to clean with some water, of course. Let it dry. You need to dry it completely. It needs to be completely dry. Use baby powder and uh, brush it on the inside very lightly and then tap it out. You just want a nice thin layer. And then you're going to rubber band the two halves back together. Um, you don't have to go crazy, just a few. And then you see the spout, I've cut actually a little wider hole there so we can actually fit some liquid in there. Now here I'm using Easy Flow 60 from Mold Life. And it's an A and B part. It's a two-part plastic. But you can use any two-part plastic. You don't have to use this. Uh, I think this one's mixed with equal amounts. You pour it in there after you've, if you've mixed it together. And I filled the hole completely here. Now, you let this cure. It's going to get hot when it cures. Um, it's a chemical reaction that happens. So don't burn yourself. And when it's done, it will turn white. 
And once it's turned white, um, you know it's done. But also, uh, it, you might want to let it sit there because uh, the heat will allow it to be a little sticky still. So just let it harden. Then you separate the two halves, and there you go. You have a casting of your head. And um, the great thing about this is you can put mouths in there, and you can do replacement mouths, or you can do a permanent mouth. Um, you can just do a whole head by itself if you wanted to. Um, the, you can also... Uh, you can make like castings of the vowels. You can 3D print mouths. You can do all sorts of stuff, fun stuff um, with this kind of character. I sculpted hair on mine and then recast it again. And you'll see here, uh, this puppet is uh, kind of belongs in a mental institution like most of us. And uh, I don't mean any harm by that. Um, he also has plastic feet. So you should check out that tutorial because uh, those tie down feet are actually really cool. Um, he does have static hands, which means from this puppet design, his hands are not going to move. You actually use replacement hands and you have standard forms like a closed fist or a pointing or whatever, and there's no transition. It just goes pops straight to that. Um, these characters are great for uh, background environments, um, also for just basic animation if you want to just kind of practice and, and get something going. Um, if you haven't checked out the other tutorials, uh, I definitely suggest checking out the silicone tutorial for casting the body. And there's a foot tutorial for casting the feet. Um, and basically use the same method for doing hands and the head um, that you would do for the feet. So anyway, with that, uh, thanks for watching and uh, check out the other tutorials.